Hi, this is Meng Yuan Mu. I'm glad to introduce my recent work, evaluating a land surface model at a water limited site, implication for land surface contribution to drought and heat waves. Drought and heat waves are severe disasters, and past research show land surface processes can influence the evolution of these extremes by a series of positive feedback. And in this feedback, Impact transpiration plays a central role. However, we are not so confident on the model simulated in impact transpiration because even the most popular land surface model diverge greatly during dry period, and it's partially because the traditional observation cannot support a lot of uh, comprehensive model evaluations. But luckily, we got a no data site at a water limited site, which allowed us to examine the multiple assumptions within cable land surface model. And this site observes not only and this site observes not only in web transpiration but also plant physiology, and so observation can extend to four point five meter depths. Uh, let's first look at the out-of-box simulation. In the left, the simulator in transpiration in green lines matches to the blue dot observation very well, but the soil evaporation simulation shown by the orange line is incredibly higher than the right dot observation, and in the right, the simulated soil moisture is always whiter than the observation. To fix this model, we first reduce the soil evaporation by increasing the resistance, but it's just to worsen the transpiration and the soil moisture. And then we reduce the water storage in groundwater aquifer, and a drier aquifer successfully removes most of the positive bias in the transpiration, uh, which show in the left plot. And it also reduces the white bias in the red plot. We tried to further improve the soil moisture dynamics uh, by increasing the vertical soil resolution, adding the hydraulic hydrogenity, or optimizing the soil hydraulic parameters. And these adjustments do improve the soil moisture dynamics. But due to the uncertainties in the observation sampling and the pitot transfer function we used, our simulation cannot completely match to the observation. Uh, based on above improvement, we further test a three saw water stress function. Uh, the calculate water st uh, stress decrease from the default function to the side based function, and then the white is a saw layer decide function calculates the lowest uh, water stress uh, transpiration. Show in the right hand side, the model is very sensitive to this function selection, and the side based function simulates 30 mm more transpiration per year, and the white is a saw layer decide functions uh, simulate 15 mm more. We also want to know what are the implications for drought and heat waves. As the result shows, in drought, different parameterization simulates distinctive soil moisture conditions, and it causes up to 40 mm per month difference in transpiration and uh, 20 mm per month in soil evaporation. Uh, this water fluxes change also changes uh, energy partitioning. Uh, as for drought, we found the parameterization. Uh, as for yeah, uh, we found the parameterization selection is also critical for the uh, heat wave simulations, and different parameterization leads to a remarkable range of evaporative fraction, and uh, over a hundred watt per meter square difference in seasonal and uh, lighting heat fluxes. Uh, that means the strengths of evaporative cooling are very different among parameterizations, and uh, this difference can pass to the lower atmosphere 
and further affect the heat wave evolutions. And here is our next step, which we want to examine the land amplification effect on the heat wave in the coupled model and to explore the impact of multiple parameterizations in the coupled model. Thanks.